This one's going to be a relatively short video. This is just a teardown of one of these uh, booster, uh, Wi-Fi boosters that uh, is being offered. This one here went defective, wouldn't pair, backhaul channel's bad, so we're tearing it down before we ship it back. I have another piece of FUBARD electronics here. This one is uh, one of the little Wi-Fi boosters that we uh, have at work. I just swapped this one out as um, it does not pair with the remote. And we tried everything. We tried factory resetting it and everything and this thing would not respond would not come back to life and would not talk to the other unit so looks like the radio unit on this thing is uh, shot we tried factory resetting it and everything and nothing seemed to work so before sending this thing back to get recycled or whatever the heck they do with them i thought maybe this might be kind of neat to open it up and take a look at the inside of it before i send it on its way so that's what we're going to do, if, if I can get into it. If I can't get into this thing without damaging it, then I guess I won't be doing that because this will be going back to our our reverse logistics. Oh, what's that? Hmm, I wonder if that's for loading software. It almost looks like a micro SD. Well, let's see if we can get into this thing and see whether, uh, whether it... Um, First of all, whether we can make it work, which I seriously doubt it, but uh, let's take a look inside it. So I'm thinking that these units probably just pop apart, so let's just see whether they whether they do, whether they're just held together with clips, which a lot of these things are, right? A lot of these devices are just, they're just held together with little plastic clips. And indeed, that's exactly how these open up. They just have little catches on the side and once I get a few of them open I should be able to just pry the rest of it apart. And there is what's inside. Let's um, remove the board and take a look. Looks like there's a bunch of antennas in here. There's, uh, there's four antennas I can see. There's four antennas along the side here. Let's see what else is inside this unit. I'm not going to do a destructive teardown on this or anything. I'm not going to take any parts or anything off of it. I just thought I'd give you guys a look inside of what these little boosters look like inside. Okay, so that, there's no SD slot. I thought maybe there was an SD slot there or something, but there's not. In fact, there's not a whole heck of a lot to see in here because everything's buried under this big heat sink. There's a reset button. And what is this one? There's two buttons on here. One of them is a WPS button, I believe. Yeah, this one's a WPS button. That one's a reset button and that's a power switch. And there's not a whole heck of a lot that you can see inside these things. Maybe if I take off this uh, heat sink, we might be able to see some more. But everything else is buried under this. And uh, let's just pull this heat sink off here and see what's underneath this thing. So what the problem with this unit is, is that I could see it on my phone for uh, linking it, and when I, I tried to link it to, oh, there we go, when I tried to link it to a, uh, a second unit, I got uh, a success that it was linked, and then when I removed the second unit, it would not, the radio would link would not, uh, the back channel, I guess it was, would not communicate and this one was the master. This one was plugged into the router, into the into the network, and uh, the slave wouldn't work. And when I plugged the slave also into the network, I both lights went blue like it was going to communicate. As soon as I took the slave off, it, the slave went red. So the back channel wasn't working between the two units. So I went and got another unit. I thought maybe my slave unit was bad at first. So I went and got another unit and paired it. And, 
the same thing. As soon as I unplugged it, it, it went red. I was thinking maybe the master was bad. So I took the original one, which was the slave, plugged it in and paired it into the network and everything went blue. So every, all the lights went blue. So that kind of proved that the fault is in on this one here. And it's not like just an antenna has come unplugged or anything. There's something wrong with this thing internally. But uh, I don't know that these things can even be repaired. I don't think they even try to repair them. We just swap them out and they go back to the manufacturer. But there's what's on the other side here. Got a couple of other chips and some heat sink uh, gel to cool down the ICs. What do we got under this one? can't remove that it's stuck to the board it's almost it's almost crumbling I'm sure they probably produce a fair bit of heat but there's one chip here and here's what's under this one little BGA chip it's under there Looks like uh, this this heat sink, this heat transfer pad is to keep this area of the board cool. You can see little indentations where it's been sitting over top of these chip components. So this has got to be this is one of the RF amplifiers. There's an, this is another RF amplifier here. These are the radio units that are producing the heat for that. We'll put this back where it belongs. I don't know if these cans pop off or whether they're they're probably soldered down. I'm sure they are on the edge here. These are soldered all down because this has got to be RF tight. Anyway, that's what's there. Looks like this heat sink here, with all its indentations on it, is because it's cooling some of these components in here on the board. We'll just kind of flatten that out a bit, or maybe turn it over so that it's going to get fresh, a fresh surface to compress. Not that the unit's working, but I'm just going to put it back together. And Put the unit back together and send it back. And it may go back to the manufacturer. I don't know. I don't know whether it's under warranty or not, but I'll ship it back and I'm sure they want to figure out what's gone wrong with it. So we'll send it back and uh, be done with it. It's back together. I'm going to put the front cabinet back on it. It just pops in place. Put that little cover in. I don't know what the heck that's for, but I guess it's just a foot to stop it from sliding around. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of all my future videos. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. Got some repair videos coming up next. Bye for now.